let's bring pizza night to a whole new level. Thanks to Man for sponsoring this video. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make authentic Italian pizza at home without a pizza stone, without a stone oven, just with your regular oven and a cast iron pan. It seems a bit complicated if you read through it, but you're gonna see in the video, it is super, super simple. There's lots of waiting time and storing in the fridge time, but the actual process is extremely easy. And the best part about this pizza is we're going to cover it with plenty of vegetables in all the colors of the rainbows, which is why I call this a rainbow pizza. Um, two of the vegetables that I'm using are Mans Broccolini and Mans Butternut Squash Rotini, because they are simply beautiful. So let's get right into it. So the recipe does have a couple of steps, but each of them are super, super simple. We start by adding yeast, salt, a pinch of sugar, type 00 flour, very important, and lukewarm water to the bowl of your stand mixer. Then you put the bowl of the stand mixer into your stand mixer attached with the dough hook and you stir it until just combined, until there are no more lumps of flour and the dough is just combined. That's when you want to turn off the stand mixer and let your dough rest for approximately 10 minutes. After those 10 minutes rest time, you turn on the stand mixer again and you will knead it this time for a good 10 minutes on low until the dough is super elastic and smooth. Once you reach this elastic and smooth consistency, you put the dough into a sealable container big enough so the dough can expand. You put on the lid and you store it in the fridge from anywhere from eight to 72 hours. On the day that you're baking your pizza, you take the dough out of the fridge and you put it in a bowl with a little bit of oil. You cover the whole dough with oil, just a tiny little bit. And then you cover that bowl tightly with either cling film or a beeswax wrap. And then you place it in a very warm spot. You want your dough to double in size. Now it's time to put your cast iron pan on the highest position that it still fits in your oven and turn on the broiler on high and then you start forming your pizza. My dough is enough for two pizzas so I'm splitting it in half and making a round pizza dough making sure that the edges are a little bit thicker than the center. By now my cast iron pan is hot so I can add my pizza dough and start building my pizza. I'm adding tomato sauce, melty cheese, and then I start making my rainbow pattern of vegetables by adding Mans Broccolini, red bell pepper, Mans Butternut Squash Rotini, yellow bell pepper, and red cabbage at the end. I drizzle a little bit of olive oil over everything and then I put it back in the oven under the broiler as fast as I can, keeping an eye on it. Remove the pizza from the oven and put it on a hot, stove. This way you avoid the vegetables or the pizza to burn from the top, but you can continue cooking it from the bottom because in, at the bottom it probably is still quite raw. So you leave it in the pan and you just keep an eye on it to make sure that it gets nice and brown without burning too much. That's when you want to remove the pizza and it's time to cut out a piece and give it a big bite. Mm. Oh my god, guys. Mm. I can't believe I just made a pizza that tastes exactly like the pizza that I grew up eating in the Italian pizzeria close to where I used to live. Unbelievably good. I can't believe I made it without a stone oven, without a pizza stone, just with my cheap cast iron pan and my regular oven in my rental apartment. Wow. And the butternut squash rotini that I just had a bite of. So good, so sweet, like super, super sweet on top. 
absolutely delicious. I can't, oh my God, I'm gonna have to sit down and eat the whole pizza. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing recipes like this one. If you made the recipe, please don't forget to snap a picture, tag me on Instagram, use the hashtag veggiesmakeeasy. Man always loves to see when people make their recipes. And I'll see you with my next video. Bye.